Well, here we are in Butte, Montana, living in our truck and refusing to get out of the truck until we start a business. And by we, I mean me and Frank. Yeah. Yeah, just me and Frank. And, uh, you know, here we are in this amazing place, man. Butte, Montana is pretty awesome. But it's summertime. Wintertime, it probably won't be quite as awesome. We're going to try and figure out something to do. But we're not getting out of this truck to start a business. What that is remains to be seen. It'll either be home services or freight. I'm a carpenter, but I do like moving freight. It, uh, even if it's moving people, it's good money. I don't mind the work, it's good exercise. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's easy to start a business moving people. Well, I mean, relatively easy. Your, your overhead is a truck, and then you, you, uh, you start uh, with some advertising of some kind, some marketing, anything. It can just be word of mouth, a sign. You start getting some business, and you know, signs on your truck, signs out. You'll start getting some business. Today's our first day off in about 15 days. We're going to go up to this place called Homestake and let Frank walk around. He's getting old and stove up in his truck. He doesn't. I got I have to adapt truck life for a for a big dog a little bit. So I'm getting a ramp for him next week as soon as possible, so he can walk up and down instead of jumping, so he doesn't wear out. You know, this may or may not be interesting to anyone. I'm a veteran, 53 years old, and I'm starting all over again. I, um, uh, I've had some problems since <coughs> the war. Um, I was given an experimental anti-nerve agent called the BB pill and experimental anthrax shot. A lot of people that say they have it are like, oh, it doesn't cause any problems. Just like everything, there were many placebos out there, and not everyone got the PB pill regardless. Uh, frontline troops did, 24th Infantry, 3rd of the 15th, rapid deployment. Yeah, we got the real deal. And uh, it's an endocrine disruptor, it completely destroyed my life. And, you know, I've had a hard time. But, Got a positive attitude. I love my country. I know it's just got some bad people running it, and it has for a while. There's always bad people. Bad people they're everywhere you go, and they'll always be there. But that doesn't change my love for God, the Constitution, the Bible. Not necessarily in that order. God, the Bible, and the Constitution. In this country and what it stands for and what it could be, what, it, what God meant it to be. You see, I don't care about what man meant it to be. I know what God's plan is. And I know that this is the wilderness where the eagle takes the woman. Part of it. And the remnant will come out of here by and large don't know what I'm talking about. Stick around. This is the awakening, folks. We are at the quickening. You will pick a side regardless of what you think you'll do. You can't ride the fence. You will be hot or you will be cold or you will be lukewarm and spewed out. It's going to come down to this. It really is. You either protect children or you prey on them. In which case, you're my enemy. There's nothing in between. Nothing. There is nothing in between. We 
because if you don't protect them, then you support the predators. You support the predators. And you're one of them. You don't have to believe that for it to be true. I suggest you become passionate about what's right. And good being there for others, especially those that can't defend themselves. God bless. We'll talk to you.